everybody really is Muslim here. I think it, they should change the name to Halal Framework now. And all I can see are Muslims. That's a Muslim uncle over there, those Muslim kids. A completely Muslim city council. Even the mayor is Muslim. Oh, thank you, brother. What is going on? That's the second time I see that. That's the same guy. I think this is like a campaign headquarters. Oh, wow. Check this out. A mural. How many times you get that in America? Assalamu What kind of bike do you have? It's a BMW. Uh, they come from Yemen or Pakistan yeah, or Bangladesh. From New York City to yeah. Hamtramck. You know, in uh, in our Muslim countries, we're yeah. fighting all the time. But uh, Hamtramck seems like the perfect place for the Ummah. One street, Stagnant, 17 huh? coffee shops. One street, one small street. Which street is that? It's, like it's a York. great environment. Yeah, yeah. New York no, City. It's better than New York. All right, everybody. We are passing by Wayne State University. One of the biggest universities in the Detroit, Michigan area. And as you can see, that we are officially in Detroit. The Motown City, the historical city of Detroit. Why are we in Detroit? Well, because Hamtramck is completely surrounded by the city of Detroit. I know what you're thinking. That doesn't make any sense. But well, that's Hamtramck. Basically, the city of Hamtramck came here first and it only grew to two square miles. It's Detroit <laughs> that started expanding later on and completely surrounded the city of Hamtramck. Come on, Michigan. Yeah. Oh no, 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 that. <laughs> no, don't do that. Man, I am excited to be here. Most of us, me and you, we don't live in Muslim majority cities. Most of the time, we're minorities. So I am really, really interesting, interested to feel the vibes of Hamtramck. How does it really feel? Watching a video? Sure, but the feeling of a Muslim going to a Muslim majority city in the United States is something that <laughs> I'm so ready to experience. Road is really bumpy. Oh, okay. This <laughs> somebody needs to fix this road, please. Man, that is bumpy. Okay, about to enter Hamtramck. Oh wow man, this road is insane. Okay. Oh wow. Well, I'm glad, uh, Alhamdulillah, for the bike, which is a road slash adventure bike, so that it can handle these kind of things. I'm swerving the best that I can. And we're taking a turn from here. Welcome to Hamtramok! Uh-huh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ya Ham Tramak. I think it, they should change the name to Halal Tramak now, inshallah. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Ham Tramak, Michigan. Oh, wow, wow. Let's slow down a little bit over here. Ham Tramak. Michigan, we are in the single, the only Muslim majority city in the United States. And all I can see so far are Muslims. That's a Muslim uncle over there, those Muslim kids. That's Shisha. Hamtramck also happens to be the only U.S. city with um, a completely Muslim city council. Even the mayor is Muslim. <laughs> Dr. Ghalib is Yemeni, of course. Check out this park. Everybody's Muslim. Matic, Ham, Tram, Eximity Market. These guys are Muslims. Yemen Cafe. MashaAllah, brothers. Wow, what is this? A lot of kids here. I notice. There are a lot of kids outside. Usually you don't see a lot of kids walking around in uh, neighborhoods across the U.S. But uh, in this city, that's the first thing I notice. MashaAllah, sister. Whoa, Naeem Chaudhary for Hamtramck City Council. That's a Bangladeshi brother because it had uh, the... Uh, the Sanskrit scripture written on it. So mashallah, just we have a lot of Arabs, but then we also have a lot of Bangladeshis. 
and I'm sure this brother over here is Bangladeshi too we have a lot of big Bangladeshi community here in Hamtramck so that's the majority South Asian oh wow. these kids feel like they were ready to talk I'm gonna try to talk to some people here while we're at it oh what is this that's the Kalama on the back of the van this is a uh, something going on not entirely sure and this is Hamtramck public school okay public school okay that's not this is Hamtramck no oh, sister wants to go in inshallah so we are in the uh, public school here I mean I don't think we need uh, Islamic school to in this city because everybody's Muslim already Let's turn back and shell. Oh, thank you, brother. Jazakallah. <laughs> Mashallah. <Scary>. Looks scary. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit heavy. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are in Hamtramck. Thank you, brother. MashaAllah, these kids showing a lot of love to Brother Bukhari. I appreciate that. I appreciate all the love from the next generation of riders from Hamtramck. Obviously, come into their neighborhoods. Oh, whoa, brother, where you came from? Oh, okay. Is that a rainbow flag? Not rainbow flags were banned in this city okay another thing the only American city where the rainbow black flag has been banned by the city council and it made national headlines all over the country what is going on that's the second time I see that while Saleh Qaed al Jaheem a very traditional mashallah the brother is wearing some traditional Yemeni clothes traditional clothes is that the same guy right yeah that's the same guy I think this is like a campaign headquarters mashallah the brother is really uh, trying his best to uh, catch the attention of all the sentiments cultural sentiments of uh, the Yemeni population here in uh, Hamatramak Oh, there's ice cream truck here and a train there is there is something going on here clearly because this thing is everywhere so maybe it's it's not an election campaign but maybe it is uh, there's a wedding going on <laughs> so I don't know what is exactly is going on in in with these pictures oh wow check this out a mural wow subhanallah absolutely amazing beautiful man how many times you get that in America wow everybody really is Muslim here so far I don't think I've seen any <laughs> I mean clearly map honestly this is going the streets inshallah no car no car okay half a wee sandwich and juice man you can tell that oh mashallah brother you can tell that this uh, city has a lot of culture a lot of life going on Al Haramain I know there's a cafe here where we can get some uh, tea inshallah I think it's over there though. Let's go check out the cafe. That's the first white guy I just saw. Kitab Cafe. Wow man, that is a nice name for a cafe. I really like that. Let's park in the front, inshallah. 
This is nice, man. Oh, there's a Bangladeshi masjid here as well. You can tell that it's Bangladeshi because it's about Islam, but it has that scripture, different scripture. Starting. I'm on YouTube actually. Yeah, GoPro. Man. Yeah, man, old uh, pro. Young <laughs> guy. What kind of bike do you have? It's a BMW. Uh, BMW. Wow. Yeah. You have a BMW? Did you go to the Royal Oak? Where? Royal Oak. They have a bike. Royal Oak Main Street. Tonight? Oh, I think the went to this. Okay. Go over there. I love bike. I'm actually from Colorado. Did you do? Oh, yeah. wow. Yes, okay. yes. How do you like to I'm from New York. Oh, nice. New That's New great. City. New York City, huh? Decades, many years. You moved here? Well, I had a kid that goes to school here. Okay, nice. I'm old guy. <laughs> you miss New York? Many years. I'm the rest of you. Oh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, I used to be the rest of you. Oh, really? Wow, yeah, you have the mashallah. Uh, strong very grip. Very nice bike, Thank you, How brother. Much you get it for? Yeah, it's on the expensive side, you know, but... How much? 47? No, no, it's 13,000. 30,000? 13, 13. 13? Okay. Yeah. Who are you from oh, anyway? 13. Are you from Pakistan? Yes, how did you know? <laughs> Your accent. <right? laughs> oh, MashaAllah. You said 13? 13,000, yeah. 30, 30, 1, 3, 1, 3. It's not, uh, <laughs> it's not a Harley. <laughs> what, what are you, what are you? What this is uh, this year. This year? Brand new, yeah. Ah, that's good. I just got it last speed. month. Huh? Top speed. Oh, man. Yeah, my Muslim it, brother is from the Pakistan. I bought it in Pakistan before. East and West. Right, so right. Speed, uh, my father has a lot of religion. They live in Pakistan. Okay. Yes, yes. East and West. Yes. So, so from Dhaka you were? Or? No, 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 I was uh, Chittagong. Chittagong, oh, nice. So, Second biggest. Well, I was Kimmel. My best friend, she will Oh, mashallah, nice. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know, man. I, uh, yeah. I haven't well, reached 100 yet. Give me coffee, man. Give me some coffee. Yes, brother, I'd like some coffee. Yeah, yeah give me coffee. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? Good coffee? Good coffee, good coffee. Yeah, man. Oh, nice. Well, I know, sit down. Yeah, yeah my, my, I know you my daughter coming. I have a granddaughter too. Oh, mashallah. Oh, wow, you look like uh, 40, 45 maximum. Oh, no. <laughs> 64. Yeah, you take, uh, you took good care of your health, huh? Uh, did you, how many hours did you, you drove? From Colorado? Yeah. yeah. I started on Monday. Started on Monday? Monday. So, uh, this is my final destination. So, do you have anybody here, friend? No. Alright. I just wanted to see the time travel. <laughs> well, I think I need to go over Did you go Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, brother. I think you're the turn to give the pop. Oh, yeah. you, you don't need to, brother. Stop. 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 So, so you said that a family, immigrant family, they work, they come best, here. Best opportunity. Best opportunity. You you're, right you're telling here. us the secret, you know, <laughs> for first family. Right yeah. Maybe $600, $700. Oh, you know why? You know, your brother working for couple years. Six months, seven months. Boom. They go to Troy by house. Yeah. Wow. So three, four family members are working in the factories, you know, making 3000 4000 per week. And then in six months, you make like a four family. Like they get a house for two to three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, that's example. Make six hundred dollars a week, right? Four people, how much? Twenty-four hundred, right? Yeah. 
That's uh, 2400 into 4 times. 9600? 9600 per month. They're making more than that. That's like the formula, right? So for prosperity, this makes sense. So Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Yemenis, they're working hard in the factories, but they're getting paid. From the outside, people must be thinking, oh, ham, tram, Muslim majority city. But where do these people know, right? They come from Yemen or Pakistan yeah, or Bangladesh. They build up house, they fight their community, big mosque. They, they do well. From New York City to Ham yeah. Tramac. Ham Tramac comes up. I have old people, I know them. They come here, buy a house. Buy a house. <laughs> oh, behind work, that's it. And then they have the masjid already. They have the community well, already. Ah, that's good. It's such a small city. How is everybody going to live here? There, is there a housing shortage here? They have it somewhere else. Okay. They buy a couple months. But they hang out in heaven. Hang out, hang out, hang out. Whatever you want. Yeah. No, it's Troy. Really? Troy? Troy is yeah. like nearby? Yeah, Troy. So, Troy is good. DR1 is good, right? Gearmore is good. Yeah. Gearmore is good, right? Gearmore is, good. Gearmore is uh, you know, the famous Gearmore. Uh, like one street, Stagnan, 17 huh? coffee shops. One street, one small street. Which street is that? Uh, every Michigan street. Avenue? Michigan Avenue. Because you know, Michigan Avenue has like 200 coffee shops. Oh at my least. god. Yeah. yeah. So you well, go, you, you go, you go. I go to Gearmore every day. Uh, and Tramic is better. You want, you want to like this? See how it is? Oh wow, mashallah bro. <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> mashallah. Don't want to mess with uh, with you, oh, brother. They can't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> they come, my brother. Oh. <laughs> Where you been? Where you been? Assalamu alaikum. Where you been? How are you, brother? You good? Assalamu alaikum. I miss you. You're the man I was waiting for. Brother, I need you. I have all my friends, no matter what race you are, I, I, this is I am. Mashallah, this is like, uh, you know, in uh, in our Muslim countries, yeah. we're fighting all the time. <laughs> but uh, Ham Tramac seems like the perfect place for the Ummah. <laughs> you, know? you got uh, different background you know, well, people you know, who are... Respectful of each other. And in, in Dearborn, in Dearborn, it's really good. There's Lebanese. Lebanese. Lebanese, yeah, it was brother. Allah subhanAllah. Make us. How good you are. You don't look at how good money you are. How good number you are. Muhammad is so much from home. He never won money in anything else. He's a regular guy, regular human being. He was a help to other people. Yes. You know, a good feeling. My thing is, when is somebody happy? I'm happy. If somebody suffer, if I could help, okay. If I don't help, I couldn't help and I have a, you know, in my heart, you know. So, I'm happy to be friend all the race flag, my no matter what race I was really, I was trying to anybody. Allah said, right, that uh, the radio is for different I know, yeah. tribes, so that you get to know each other. Right, he Marshall. knows me, I know the father, I know his uh, wife, uh, what, even even nephew knows me, little one. Boy knows me, yes. Three more businesses is going to come up. Where? In downtown. Downtown Amtram? Yeah. So there's like a revival going on in the city? You know, husband and wife. It's a good, good partnership together. No jealous, open mind, success in life. You know. So, yeah, this is a <laughs> very nice cafe. Yeah. Kitab cafe. The name is so good, and then you got coffee, you got Islamic books here. He created it perfect. It's, like it's a great environment. Yeah, yeah. New York City. You know, it's better than New York. Before, it was going to be a Starbucks. Oh, really? Yeah, before. And then Starbucks, something happened and stuff, and they're yeah. like, no more. No more, I knew it. No? <laughs> you, know it? Yeah. you need a Muslim Starbucks now, and this you has that vibe. Food. You all have halal food here. Yeah. Yeah. You can have halal food here. Yeah, not sure. Bro. This is, uh, brother, you open one in Denver. <laughs> we need one over there, inshallah. A lot of Muslims there, yeah. too. Where are you from? Pakistan. Well, well I born Pakistan. to Pakistan. Yeah. The east and west, you know, the same country we were born. We are all brothers. We are doing the same thing. Standing there, love. We are together. Yes, all brothers. We are all politicians, garbage. 
Beautiful people, beautiful, so easy people. Same, same. Bangladesh is the same. 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 Amazing. Guys, are you know? Alhamdulillah. I have been fortunate to have Bangladeshi friends and yeah, sure. You see, yeah. family members. Alhamdulillah. My brother. Salam. Wow. Subhanallah. From Karachi. Because his mom has a lot of biryani. The smell is part of it. Mashallah. Did you get some eye? The mom cooked for me. Mashallah. Uh, brother Faisal, I have to go. I'm sorry, but I have to no go. No problem. Good morning, brother. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate your uh, hospitality. So, so, so your, take care of your... How many times? Inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, you made the uh, ham traffic very special. Hold the handlebars, uh, square them, square it, yeah. Oh, you are right? Yeah. Okay, now, now do it. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> if I let go of the clutch, is it gonna go? Yeah, don't leave the clutch. How do I stop it? Just uh, up, stop, uh, over here. Yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. That's good, huh? Oh, that's over there. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, this has been an absolute pleasure. We are reaching the mid-season finale of our journey. And Alhamdulillah, we are in the city of Detroit, Dearborn, Hamtramck. And this has been a journey to be remembered, a journey for the ages, a historic journey where we got to meet an absolutely amazing bunch of people from the beginning in Manhattan, Kansas, to Hamtramck. Michigan. Alhamdulillah, it is without a doubt a privilege and honor to meet the Muslims of North America, the United States of America, from different backgrounds. We may speak a lot of different languages, but we have nothing but love for each other. We believe in the same God and the finality of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And right here in Michigan where we are ending our journey, I don't have words, absolutely do not have words, but I have to say, Allah gave me a huge opportunity. This is my last shot to make it in life. And I've shared it with you on the road, in the masajid, day and night, on the streets of the United States of America, of the Midwest, capturing the history and the experience of Muslims in the Midwest region who have been working hard for more than a century and they continue to do so all the while making sure that their relationship with Allah is not compromised and they focus on the betterment of the children something to be respected but we are not done yet we are not done at all we're going back home this is the mid-season finale where we are ending in Michigan but now it's time to go back we still have to go back home and it's a long journey we got amazing cities like Chicago Minneapolis and many more so get ready for an exciting rest of the season before we say our goodbyes there is one last stop and you know we always have our surprise stops and I know that you're gonna love this one because mashallah if you come to Dearborn and you don't visit the Islamic Center of America you haven't been in Dearborn then there it is there it is mashallah the barakallah the biggest masjid in the country in the nation is right here there it is subhanallah We've made it. MashaAllah, the Look at that. SubhanAllah. There it is, the biggest masjid in the nation. Subhanallah. Na ilaha illallah.